was picked up by Mazer Gaming before Nakat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Nakat is on the same team as Shine. Let's not forget. Oh, and, and don't forget La Luna, aka the Moon, originally known as the Moon. They're also in the same team. Great pick from Mazer to pick up Shine. Um, he is starting to come back slowly to the same level that he was when he left after the last, last game. He was definitely a hidden boss. Not only was he a hidden boss, he was just a shy shot short of being uh, a PR for sure. He was definitely one of those hidden bosses that all he needed was a season. He typically uh, fell around Area 21 when it came uh, to being PR. Mm -hmm. But here we go, starting off with the DK, it looks like, and already getting that uh, pseudo cargo throw into a quick combo right there. But Falco, no stranger to comboing DK in any of the games. And he's doing a good job of getting at the ledge and gets the dare too. Of course, the edge guards are the main strength that a lot of these characters have against a character like DK. He did lose his intangibility on his arms on the Dawncopter. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of difficult to make it back sometimes. Not only that, it doesn't have great uh, vertical recovery anymore as it used to come from Smash 4. Okay, we got the up air juggles. Try to finish off with a bear to try and put him off stage, but didn't quite get the right DI for that. But he gets the up throw into it instead. Shine kind of having a difficult time trying to play the game. And wow, that shield drop too. Using that Nair to be able to keep, catch him one more time. Oh, good tech roll into the back air. And Shine puts Larry off the stage. Bit of a disadvantage. He has to go for the side B and he goes for the up B, able to hit. Okay. On the back stage. I am still so thrown off that he's able to make it back from that. It looks like he shouldn't, but I guess they did a lot of tweaks to Firebird and it's going to work just fine. And again, he's getting those fares and it looks like Shine is having kind of a difficult time really making things happen here. I mean, I'll call it as I see it, man. The man is getting soft out here. <laughs> <laughs> he's really getting soft. He needs to wake up because in this situation here, Larry is taking a lot of control. He tries to go for a roll into the grab there. Not going to be the great option here. Larry tries to go for a landing option. Up tilt. Finally giving Shine some space to breathe. Yeah, it kind of looked like he got some wacky DI there because I think he might have gotten a cross-up hit on it or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's going to do it just fine for uh, Shine to take the stock. But again, another edge guard. Goes for the, I like the fact that he goes for the high option there because he was probably going to be able to two-frame him there at the ledge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no tech. That's one of those risks you play when you do use DK. You know, we saw earlier Master Mario use that fair, but DK is such a sitting duck after that fair. We're trying to reversal his opponent. So, yeah, that was a quick game from Larry. Yeah, Larry taking that 1-0. I mean, this is still winner's quarters here, so this is either, this is potentially Shimei's last game if he does not wake up. Uh, definitely shown some signs of life there with that up tilt, but like we said, some possible DI mishaps there it was probably a counter to that one. All right, so we go from one heavy to another. Mm -hmm. We go to DK. All right, blah, blah, blah. Bowser. <laughs> this is also another character Shine did also main. He picked up usually a lot of the heavies in Smash 4. He did use DK, he did use Bowser, he did use uh, Lucas in Smash 4, so he was kind of used to those characters. Okay, one of them does not sound like a heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, oh well, yeah, I, I, one I'm of kidding, them was like Lucas. Yeah, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, but here we go. Up throw into Nair, getting a lot of damage out of it. Try to follow up afterwards. Not getting anything, though. Okay, like that. Dash Dancer coming in from Larry, trying to see how Shine is going to respond there. He lands with the forward air, that seventh hit. Definitely possibly came out there with a the fastball. Cross up into the full hop, getting a cross up there, and almost, almost gets the back up from the other. Yeah, unfortunately, Bowser kind of suffered the same thing as uh, DK, is that the the bear out of shield doesn't quite hit people when they're landing from aerials because they kind of pancake themselves, and it's kind of difficult to use it as a, a good out of shield option. Nice, down throw almost gets the forward air. The one thing also Bowser lost in this game is the Koopa, right? A lot of characters, we mentioned it earlier, right? A lot of characters did lose their hoo-ha options there. Yeah. So now Bowser is a little bit more neutral based compared to the last game. I don't feel like he's still, I feel like he's still one of the best of the heavies for sure. Yeah, I mean, he does still have the landing there into up air and fair instead, but not quite going to work out though. We'll have to see. Up tilt, not going to get that back air, but a frame trap comes in too. Try to pick him up one more time. I don't know if that was tough guy or what that made him go through that up tilt, but mm -hmm. it didn't quite work out there. Tries to go for the fastball forward air, immediately catching him because, of course, like I said earlier, that landing hit would be the seventh one if you fastball, and unfortunately, she didn't let go of Sheila at that, that point. Yep. Oh, and the up tilt is not quite able to do it. One thing I'm very proud of Larry for doing is that he has basically not rapid jabbed this Bowser once, mm -hmm. uh, mainly because. Tough guy does go through every rapid jab, so it's a free punish for him. And it's showing Larry's matchup knowledge as well. Yeah, sensing the DI from Shine, knowing that it was going to go left. He catches him, he puts him on the ledge, and he puts him back onto the stage there. He almost gets a platform extension from the middle one, and Larry carrying this man around the whole town and city, just trying to show him the world. Yeah, I mean, this version of Town and City kind of works the same as Lilat, especially a character like Falco can just peek through all those platforms with that quick jump height. Mm -hmm. Because this is one of the things where you play peekaboo through the platforms, you play whack a mole, basically. Yeah. 
<laughs> Indeed. Gets the back air, almost gets that forward air. Great spot dodge, getting the whiff punish on that one. Larry showing his strengths as a Falco main. Yeah, of course. Today. Of course, uh, spot dodge canceling is a very good tool to use in Smash Ultimate. You're probably even using it if you don't realize it. You just cancel your spot dodge animation with an attack. You can be very quick about it. You can get some punishes after spot dodge. And scooping them up one more time with the up tilt. And I just blinked, and all of a sudden, Shine is at 117%, and the percents are climbing. He's barely been touched on this next up. Trying to go for the pressure, and he elicits the jump right out of there and gets the bear. Yeah, he did have Shine when so much pressure, man. That's literally being pressured in the corner. And when you're being pressured in the corner, man, you want an option out of there. You want to see a way out. You want to you wanna call a lifeline. But at that point, Larry saw his lifeline, 